Hey guys, what's up? Mr. Nice here, also known as AP Stats Guy. We're gonna do some probability today. Basic probability. We're probably gonna do some probability. As a matter of fact, when people say probably, they're actually talking about probability. Chances, likelihood. So what the heck is probability? I'm gonna do some few examples so we can learn about the notation of probability. Okay, so let's talk about some basics. Suppose I had a little satchel like this. Okay, and inside I had some chips, some poker chips, colored red, blue, and green. I had 10 chips in the bag. Let me just straighten this camera out. We'll look a little bit off here. There we go. Um, and I have these 10 chips in a bag, all right? Um, and I was wondering, hey, if I reach in randomly and I pull out a chip, what's the likelihood the chip has these qualities, okay? So let's see, what do we have? We have five red, two blue, and three green, 10 chips all together. So if I wanna know, hey, what's the probability that I have, I pull out a red chip, I have to ask, well, what are all the possibilities? What could I pull out? Well, let's see. Since there are 10 chips in all, out of the 10 I could possibly grab in five red chips, the probability that I pull out a red, which we write like this, probability that I pull out a red is 5 out of 10, 50%. It's a 50% chance that I pull out a red. Well, cool. What's the probability I pull out a green? Okay. So I put the, let's put that red back in. Shake this up. So all 10 are in here. Now let's see. Hmm. What's the probability I pull out a green? Well, how many greens are there? Let's see. There's only three greens. Three greens out of 10 in all would be three out of 10. Now we show probabilities sometimes like this, we'll show it as five out of 10 as a fraction, but you can just do the calculation, hmm, three tenths is 0.3, and if you don't, I don't like doing that in your head, you could do the, your calculator three divided by 10, and it'll give you the same thing, um, 0.3, which is 30%, five tenths is a, you know, half of them, is 50% chance. So the probability is red, 50%, the probability is green, 30%. But what if I want to know what's the probability it's red or green? Hmm, red or green, that would look like this. What's the probability it's red or green? Rug! Now, that doesn't say rug. We have some symbols that we use in probability, and here they are, right above, hovering above my head. If you look up at them, um, you have or is a U, okay? Or, then upside down, it all kind of looks like an A, and, and, it's like an upside down U, okay? U, that actually stands for union. So we got or, and and given. We're going to talk about those symbols or and and given. But let's take a look at it. What's the probability that's red or green? Let's see. Red or green? Well, how many ways can I get a red or a green? Um, well, if I pull out a red, that would work. Or if I pull out a green, because all I need to do is pull out a red or a green, and I have a success. So if I pull out this, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, not that one. Okay, it seems like there's eight that are red or green out of 10, there's an 80% chance that I take out a red or a green. Okay. So that's the symbol for or. Now, what if, what if, I was wondering, what's the likelihood I pull out one that's red and green? Huh? Red and green, hmm, what would that look like? Red and green. What's the probability that I pull out red and green? Are there any that are red and green? I didn't think so. The likelihood of putting out a red and a green is zero because there are none. None of these, none of these uh, chips are red and green. So we call, because it can't be red or green at the same time, they are mutually exclusive meaning they can't happen at the same time. Fancy word, mutually exclusive, mutually exclusive. The other word we use for mutually exclusive, two things that both can't happen at the same time, disjoint, because they're never gonna be up and disjoint at the same time. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, 
These are mutually exclusive events. So things that can't happen at the same time, we call mutually exclusive. But some things can happen at the same time. Like suppose I said, hmm, what's the probability that a random, well, let's see. Red, get out of here. What's the probability I randomly pull one out? What does this say? E, what could that stand for? Even. What's the likelihood a random chip is even? Well, let's see. I reach in. Woo! -hoo. How many even chips are there? Two, four, six, eight, ten. There are five even chips out of the ten. The likelihood it's even is 0.5 or 50% chance. Hmm. What's the probability it's even and red? Oh my god, even and red. Which ones of these are both even and red? Now we have this thing, and. And in order to follow, to be, have some and quality, both things have to be true. So it has to be both even and red. Let's take a look. Is this even and red? Even and red? Yeah. Even and red? Even and red? Yes, me. No, no, no. I'm even. I'm even. Look how happy this guy is. I'm even. You're not red. I mean, you're green, man. You're not red. In order to fall into this category, you have to be even and red. And there's only two out of the ten that are even and red. Both qualities have to be true. So we have this thing or, either or, is okay, and both have to be true. Let's look at another or for the heck of it. Why? I don't know. What's the probability that it's green or odd? Green or odd? Hmm. So basically I'm saying, hey, you win a prize if you pull out a green or an odd. So as long as you have at least one of these qualities, green or odd, you win. So let's see who wins. So you reach in the bag, you're like, I want to win. You win a million dollars if it's green or odd, you reach in. If you pull out a green, you're going to be like, I won. If you pull out an odd, you're going to be like, I win. So let's see. You pull out a one. Ah, very nice. You win. What about a two? Ah, neither green nor odd. Three odd. Four. No, neither green nor odd. Five odd. Nah. Seven's odd. It's not odd, but it's green. And I told you you'd win if it was green or odd. Yay! Nine is both. So you also win. You don't win double. Okay, you just win a million bucks as long as it's one or the other. So green or odd, how many fall into that? How many winners are there if it's green or odd? It's green, odd, or both green and odd. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, seven out of ten. There's a 70% chance you win the money if it's green or odd. Hmm, or. So that's or. Or union. Now, the last symbol, the last symbol we're going to talk about is this one. It's given. And I think of it as like a, it's like a slice. And it's slicing up the pile. Notice that all these other ones that we did, the denominator was 10, because inside this bucket, inside this bag, all 10 chips are in the bag for every one of those. The ands, the ors, the individual ones. Now we're gonna slice up the bag. We're gonna change what's in the bag. Oh yeah! We're gonna change what's inside the bag. So the denominator changes, and it's called given, given. I'm gonna give you some information. So it looks like this. got an R and an E up there. What could that mean? Red, even. And what this says is the following. What is the probability that it's red given the information that it's even? So what this means is I reach in and I'm telling you something. Psst, it's even. Now what's the likelihood that it's red? So what you have to imagine is the only things I can choose from, I'm telling you it's even. So just pretend the bag only has evens in it. So how many are in the bag at all? The given information is the new denominator. How many evens are there in all? Well, let's take a look. Hmm. Let's see the evens. That would be in there. The two, the four, the six, the eight, the ten. There would be five things in here. I'm telling you it's even. Now, out of those five, 
Now, what's the likelihood it's red? Now that you know it's even. Well, let's see which of those evens are red. Out of those one, two, three, four, five evens, two out of the five are red. So you know what that means? The likelihood that it's red, given the information that it's even, is two-fifths, which is also, if I put it in my calculator, 40% chance. Isn't that the same thing if I said, what's the probability it's even, given it's red? Let's see. Hmm. What's the probability it's even, given it's red? Hmm. It's red? Ooh. What's in the bag now? Ooh, let's change it. <laughs> What's the probability it's even, given it's red? Now think of what's going on. Now I'm telling you some information. The only thing that's in the bag are these guys. There's only red chips in the bag. I'm telling you. Hey, these are all red. Now what's the likelihood that it's even? Hmm, let's see. How many reds are there? Let's see which ones are red. Red, 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 like a rooster's head. There's five reds. Even. Two out of five. Oh, my goodness. That's 40%. So whether it's E, R, or R, E, it must be the same thing. No. Watch. Let's see if we can find this one. What's the probability that it is even given it's green? Take a look. See if you can figure it out. How many greens in all? What's in the bag? Only greens. How many are even? Of these greens, how many are even? Mm -hmm. So remember, all the bag had in it was greens. Two out of the three. Now let's switch it around the other way. What's the probability it was green given it was even? Well, isn't that going to be the same thing? I don't know. Think about it. I'm telling you, What's in the bag? Just evens. I chopped the bag up. How many evens are in there? Five, two, four, six, eight, and ten. So let's see. Here's my evens. Two, four, six, eight, ten. How many of those are green out of those five? Shoom, shoom. Two out of five. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Not always the same thing. Did you fall for my trick? <laughs> now, here we go. Check it out. Basic stuff, okay? Basic symbols you're gonna see. One looks like this, that means or. If this or that or both, you're part of the party. If I was like, hey man, stand up if you're wearing jeans or a woman. You'd stand up if you were wearing jeans or if you were a woman or if you were a woman and wearing jeans. Or, and, looks like this. Both qualities have to be true. It looks like an A. And this, this and this have to both be happening at the same time. And the last symbol that we use an awful lot, my favorite, sha! I'm just chopping up, I'm changing what's in the bag. I'm giving you information, I'm giving you information. What's in the bag is changing. So it's not everything. The denominator's changing when you see this. So who's in the bag? Like one more example, because you have a lot of issues with this. So if I said, what's the probability? It is blue, given it's even. What's gonna be in the bag? just evens. So there's just evens in the bag. How many evens are there? Five. Of those five evens, who are my evens? Two, four, six, eight, and ten are my evens. Of those five evens, which ones are blue? Just one. What's the problem? Is blue given it's even? 20%. So that's the basic, the basic symbology. Don't forget, or, and, given. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense to begin with. We're gonna do some more videos in a little bit. We're gonna talk about independence. We're gonna talk about the general multiplication rule, the general addition rule, and all kinds of other weird rules, but they're kind of like common sense rules if you think about it. So we're going on. Have a great day. I hope uh, you're loving stats.